Okay, so what we're going to look at now is the fact that if we open any of our tests here, so let's take our e-commerce regression goal, for example, and we'll open that up. And so we've got our test here, which is written to uh, create on an e-commerce journey, adding a product into the bag and then going through the checkout. When we execute this test, so the test, as we know, when we run this, if we go to the project activity by default, is going to run on a headless Chrome browser from Virtuoso's uh, cloud hosting. But what you can actually do with Virtuoso is you can execute these tests on cross browsers, different browsers, different devices. So from the project activity, if we click on the little dartboard here to see this journey on the goal view, we can go back to the goal view. It's being executed. So now we've got to look at the latest version, which is running. But what we can actually do from here when we execute we can execute advanced and we can choose to do cross browser. And what this means is we can pick the operating system. So it could be Mac, do the different versions, iOS, Android. This is for browsers on those mobile devices. We've got Windows and all the different versions here. So I could say Windows 10, then I could pick the browser, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Internet Explorer. So maybe I wanna do Edge and then I can pick the version. So maybe version 102, the latest. Now what happens here is when I click execute, we're actually hooking into grids in the background where we're passing the traffic for the test into those grids to run on real devices. So now when I come to the project activity, look at the latest one running and click in, what we can see is this is now being run on Windows 10 and Edge. So all of these screenshots will be based on this running on that device. So we're actually running the test on a real device, which is Windows 10 and Edge. So it shows you how you can execute the same test on different devices, different operating systems. Okay, so now though, let's look at the fact if I come into my execution planner, what I can do here as part of my, uh, my regression pack I've set up here, if I go and edit that, I could set up a device hive. So if I know that I want to run this on several devices, so my headless Chrome, but then I want to run this on Windows 10 and Edge on the latest version, add that. I might want to run this on, let's say iOS on an iPad and let's go for the iPad 5. And I also want to run this on Mac on, let's say it could be Firefox and the latest version. I can add those. So I've now set up a device hive, which means I'm going to run this on four different operating systems and devices, including Virtuoso's uh, headless uh, Chrome. So when I update the plan and now execute this, now you can see here that I've got eight journeys running because I've also set to have this as a data-driven test. So when I come into the project activity, I can see that I've got my different journeys running here. And that's because on each device, each operating system, I've got two journeys, two data-driven journeys running on each. So if I come in, I can see that this one is running on the um, Virtuoso and Chrome, but then I can come down and look within this job. I can see the iPad and I can see this one is running. So when we see the screenshots, you can see it's on an iPad. And again, that's running on a real device. I could go to Windows 10 and Edge and also to Mac and Firefox in this case, which will then run. And note this is queued on the basis that when we're passing through the grids, then it's running on different infrastructure. So the parallelism is not the same as if running on Virtuoso. But you definitely have the ability to run on the different devices. I could even toggle through and see those and therefore I can see um, the test running. So this is how you can run cross-browser with Virtuoso.